Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back, let's play Wild Arms. In the last episode, we made our way through the Sacred Region, the Wandering Isle, now we're in the uh, Dead Sanctuary. In the last battle, um, I ended the episode, uh, in the middle of a battle, I went ahead and take and uh, taken care of that. It was against uh, two Mayans and one Kelvum. I got uh, 1,700 experience points and 1,460 gel, and Cecilia gained a level. And today, we're going to continue our way through the Dead Sanctuary. And let's see, get this fire out of the way. Because apparently we can't push a statue f through fire. Well, I guess we would probably get burned, obviously, but... Meh, I don't know, whatever. Let's see, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh... Still off, off to the left room first. There's a chest over there we can get, so... Let's go ahead and grab that first. And, oh wait, oh, that's right. Yeah, open the... that one. Whoops. Okay. Let me see, let's try this again. Yeah, I forgot, yeah, the statue needs to be facing this way to open that door. There you go, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alrighty, oh, we can't get over there. Well then, I wonder what door we need to open now. Let's see if I can push this freaking statue. There you go, just push it all the way over there. And then now let's push this one better over to the middle. Alrighty, there we go. See, we got a chest for... Ooh, a Mystic Apple. Yay. Always liked apples. Um, yeah, let's do this to Cecilia. Ah, there we go, excuse me. Alrighty, anything down here? Nope. And let's see, uh, random battle, yay. <coughs> excuse me. Let's see, Kelbum... I didn't, yeah, I didn't get a chance to show this off before, so let's just show it off right now. Pretty much the cousin of the Sphinx from way back in the uh, Guardian Shrine. Like, forever ago. Let's see. Ground of physical attacks should take care of it. Yep. Nothing hard there at all. There we go. Alright, and let's move along then. Let's see. Yeah, that's the natural way to go, but of course I'm going to grab this chest down here first. Which, I'm going to say it's going to be Mr. Dapple. And yes, it is. Yay. I like it when I'm right. And of course, do it to Cecilia again. There we go, alright, let's keep moving. Or get into random battle. You know, that works too. And four <coughs> Mayans means however you pronounce it, I don't know, I don't care, I'm running away. <coughs> you know, I wonder, <coughs> I thought it was just now, this place is called the Dead Sanctuary, so I assume nothing's actually in here. I mean, how? Everything's like dead. And yeah, you can't get the chest over there, so. I thought you, you might be able to, but. It will seem as though you cannot. Let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, the Elder Scroll. That's Cecilia's the next best book upgrade, so let's definitely give that to her. Wow, much better sorcery upgrade. 59 points right there. And 29 magic resistance. Totally want to equip that. Uh, let's see, dead end down there. Random battle right about here. <coughs> let's see, anything new here? Uh, no. no. Not really. Oh no, I was too slow. Oh no, that that sucks. Let me just fast forward through this real quick just to skip this crap and I'll be right back. There you go, okay, now I'm back. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh again? Damn you game! Alright guys, be right back oh, again. Yeah, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and fight. It's that won't take that much time anyway, so. <clears throat> yeah, figure. May as well do the experience points, really. Yay, for double attack. Almost double attack, really. Counter attack and physical attack. Ow! Stop pouncing on me. Or hopping on me, or whatever the hell you're doing. I don't know. There we go. One physical attack should do it, I hope. Yes, perfect. Alrighty. Moving right along. Let's see. Yeah, we can't go that way, so let's go down over this way. Um, anything down here? It might be a chest or something, I think. I don't really know. Um, let's see. Oh, chest right there. Definitely want that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you guys are new, so let's try running away again. Please run away this time, thank you. But yeah, let's run over and grab that chest real quick. 
I did get to be another Mr. Apple, but th for this, this time I don't think so. I'm Press Graph, yay. Uh, let's see, we have three more of those, okay. I'll be putting those to use later, did more high, high magic spells. But really, for right now, I think I'm good on spells, really, so. I have pretty much all the essentials, really. I may pick up the other elemental spells, later, like high flame or high freeze, whatever ones I don't have, really, so. And too slow, again. This made me wonder, like, if I'm just ha if, I'm, if I'm having bad luck with this, or maybe it kind of works in, like, another game, I think if your level's too low, you have trouble running away from battles. Or you need an ambush or something, I don't know. Well, you can't get an ambush in this game anyway, I don't think. Can you? I seriously don't know. I don't think you can, actually. We well, didn't I mean, obviously you, you didn't run away and fail, but that's really about it. I actually I seriously never noticed before. But no, well, it's not important. And let's see, let's go down here, um, anything down here? Uh, let's see, another dead end. Oh, I, see. I know these saw up there real quick in the top left corner, there's a little plaque up there on the wall, so I'm gonna go ahead and read that. Yay, preemptive strike, run away. Thank you. Let's see, what do we got over here? Let's go ahead and read it. Guardian Lords, long ago this place was a sacred land for the masters of the Guardians. Guardian Lords were the Guardians of hope, courage, and love. The omniscient power of the Guardian Lords is greatly missed in, Fod in Fodaya. Huh. Well, I wonder if we'll ever run into the Guardian Lords ever. Or we could run into a wall. That works too. Not what I had in mind, but... No, yeah, take what you can get. Ah, oh, so many random battles. And still the same enemies. I thought there were some new ones around here. And I don't think I've shown them off yet, so... Eh, too slow again. Yeah, this is starting to get a little annoying. So yeah, you go ahead and just yeah you pounce you pounce on me, bite me, whatever the hell you do, I don't freaking know. Oh yeah, counterattack. Fear my stick. That's that didn't sound right. I said nothing. All right. Anyway, let's go up over here now. Oh yeah, nothing there. Yeah, just the plaque. We already read that. Now oh, that almost rhymes. <coughs> let's see. Oh, we got three more plaques down here. Let's go ahead and read these real quick. Or again to a random battle, as always. Anything new down here? Of course not. I think the deeper we go into this part, the I think better chance that we'll fight some new enemies, but uh so far haven't yet. What are we got here? The red glow is a symbol of the guardian of love, the hot emotion to care for another. Okie dokie. What are we got here? The blue glow is a symbol of the guardian of courage, the power to heighten oneself. Interesting, interesting. And then we, oh, of course, there has to be a stupid wall next to the third one, so I had to loop all the way around the jet there first. These guys aren't new. Note to self: use the roller skates from now on, so I can avoid random battles. Yeah, let's go, Rudy, with the uh, skates. Best thing about the skates, yeah, you can avoid random battles by using them, so definitely helps. Minus the whole uh, running into walls trauma thing. Don't worry about that. And what do we got here? If I didn't read it. This is a sacred place where the three powers that hold the world together are worshipped. The three powers will never crumble. The shattered will is the weakness of humans. And that is true. They mentioned before that the humans pretty much just really gave up. They lost their faith in the Guardians, so that's why they're not really around anymore. So, yeah, humans are really to blame for this anyway, so. But hopefully humans will all learn from this lesson. Let courage reside in your right hand, love reside in your left hand, and hope reside within. Now, this is actually a little hint for a puzzle that you will be doing soon. Yeah, courage in the right, love in the left, and hope reside within. I'll be going over that in a second. Yeah, it's like it's an obscure hint to the puzzle in a, in a little bit. Finally, some new enemies. Uh, Nibas? I'm, I'm gonna call it. Yeah, I'm gonna call it Nibas. Or Nibas. I, I don't know. Whatever you are, they look weird. They look like pig, goat things, and they can heal. That's not cool. I hate when monsters can use heal on themselves. It just draws out the battle. It's really annoying. Let's see. Yeah, come on. Hurry up, guys. Ooh, darkness. Ow. Oh, wow. Actually, that actually was an owl. It wasn't a sarcastic owl. That was like a real owl. Yeah, there's like some, some sort of pig goat wearing 
Oh, pit goat cape wearing thing. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't design the monsters in this game. I don't know what the hell they are. Let's see. I wonder the staircase up here, and then that'll be a bad for today's episode. No, not diagonal, you moron. No, not diagonal, you moron. Down the stairs. There we go. Okay, then, Nigel, that's about it for today's episode. Let's play Wild Arms, and next time, we will continue our way through the Dead Sanctuary. I almost forgot the name of the part was. This has been Iron Moose on Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.